Look, they have, they have things they used to tie people to a frame and drop them. Okay. Okay? So they were literally dropping them in the hope that something would get better. Okay? And then they got more sophisticated as they figured out how the body works and, and what they're doing and all this other stuff. But in all this time, from 12,000 years ago up to now, until the 1980s when I wrote it down, I could not find anybody who said bones go out of place in a direction the body can't self-correct because there's no muscles pulling in the direction needed, and that's the key to fixing people's body structure. And it is more of a key than anybody imagines. If you haven't been doing ABC for five or six years, you have no idea what can be fixed by getting structure corrected. All right? You know, you have people with uh, like uh, cerebral palsy, all right? You know, they're all spastic. Well, the way that works, you have a, a nerve that goes from your head down your spinal cord and then from your spinal cord out to a muscle, all right? So there's a lower motor neuron and an upper motor neuron. <clears throat> if, the, if the lower motor neuron gets cut, okay, you have flaccid paralysis. It's loose. You can't do anything. It just flops around. If the, if the lower one is okay but the upper one gets cut, the upper motor neuron has an inhibition effect. And everybody knows this. This is medical, normal medical knowledge. The upper, the upper motor neuron has an inhibitory effect on the lower motor neuron. So if there's something wrong with the upper motor neurons, all right, the lower motor neurons contract, and you get somebody who's all spastic. All right? And it's always funny because people see these spastic people walking around and they think they're retarded. They're not. They're just like you and me. They just don't have control over their muscles because they're spastic. All right. <clears throat> so what happens is when you get somebody like that, ABC, you have to work your tush off pulling apart meningeal adhesions and stuff like that. But And there's some of them up on the website. But you have them walking before they get treated and walking after they get treated. 20 to 30% of their spasticity goes away right in the beginning. 